Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and after seeing this clip, you knew I was going to cover it. Joe Rogan says that playing video games is a waste of time and you should do MMA. Now, video games for me are a way of interacting with people, way of playing uh, something that's reasonably priced, let's say 60 bucks for a new title, and you get hours upon hours out of it, right? Martial arts, I did martial arts for many years, was $150 a month, and I mean, if I'm pulling in two to three hours a week, the value still doesn't outweigh the value of a video game. Now, am I learning a skill set? Maybe. Am I gonna take it and run and become the next MMA guy? No. Just like Joe would say, well, not many people are gonna make it in the video game to make money. Well, not many people make it in MMA to make money. Just because you know some people doesn't mean it's the case for the rest. Let's hear it in Joe's own words. And video games are a real problem. They're a real problem. You know why? Because they're fucking fun. Addictive. And you don't, yeah, well, I'm, I have a real problem with them. And you, you, you do them and they're real exciting, but you don't get anywhere. Right. It's like you could do like, like martial arts, right? You could learn jujitsu. You get obsessed by jujitsu, and then three years later, you're you're like an elite jujitsu athlete. You're like you're entering in competitions. You're a purple belt. You're, you're moving up. Yeah, you're doing well. Right. You're thinking like I might be able to open my own school one you day. Got confidence. Yeah, if I have a hundred students and those hundred students are paying me X amount of dollars per month, I can make a living. Holy shit, I can have a. This would be amazing. And then you see your jujitsu school, and your jujitsu instructor has all these students and drives a Mercedes, and he's got a nice family, and like that's the future. This way. You're doing something exciting and fun, and you don't, or you could just be playing fucking video games. Three. Yes, you could just be playing video games, or in three years, you could just be uh, a white belt. You could just be whatever you would put the mindset towards saying that it takes effort, right? Everything takes effort. And if you don't put equal effort in to the jujitsu or martial arts, you're not going to get anything out of it. Oh, you might open a school in three years. Yeah, you might, you might not. Or you might become the next ninja by streaming daily and just building an audience. Years later, you could be that same kid just playing video games, waiting for the next Vix, whatever the fuck game is, you know, next Xbox game to come out, and you're going to waste your time. You, you have children. I have, yeah. I have children, and um, it's a big battle in the house. Yes. And, and my kids, I don't know if you're, you're going through this, but my kids are now saying, well, Dad, this guy made all this money with this video game. He's that's a man. real, too. That's right? real, too, so, now. So, so, like, that's one in a billion, kid. Like, I don't know if it's no, it's not stupid. I'm sorry to tell you, Mr. Uh, Spartan Race guy, one in a billion. No, there are plenty of people in the world who are streaming daily, making viable money to live on. You don't have to be the next freaking ninja. You don't have to be the next BJJ and best martial artist in order to be and enjoy making money off of the thing. You think the, half these guys who have studios that uh, sell and teach are going to go and win big prize belts? No, they're not. So with that logic, maybe, just maybe, you shouldn't be forcing that upon people with the same mindset. It's one in a billion, but, you know, look, I heard the same argument about comedy. My, you know, my, my own parents were like, do you know how few people make it as a comedian? I was like, okay, does anybody make it? Somebody makes it, right? They, they figure out how to do it. They make a living. And I'm going to do that. that. Yeah. Just stop. Look, yeah. I know what I'm doing. I was real lucky that my parents were not around very much, so I didn't get much advice. So I, I figured it out myself. So there was no one telling me I couldn't do it. Got it. So Greenfield. I, yeah, I, just, I was right. like, I'm going to find my way through this. And since yeah. no one's telling me. It's impossible. No one's telling me I can't. Occasionally, I would hear someone say, what are the odds? I'm like, listen, this fucking loser. That's my thought was always like, right. that guy's a loser. Like, if you think like that, you're a loser. But there are. But that's the same mindset that you would have for a kid who wants to 
get into video games and be successful at video games. You can't make the contradictory argument that, oh, people can't put me down, they're losers, and then say the same thing about kids who want to play video games if, as a profession. Well, well, you're not going to make it, son. You're not going to make it. You're being lazy, son. Um, you're doing exactly what everyone did to you when it came to comedy. You, you see that, yes? Kids that make a lot of fucking money right, playing video is. games. But the thing is, like, you have to be adaptable. You have to be able to play multiple video games because the one video game that you get really good at, what are the odds that's going to be around five years from now? Right. You know, like, what's the big... I don't know. Tell me how long uh, Counter-Strike's been around. Tell me how long uh, Fortnite's been around. I don't know. Fucking Minecraft. Games stick around, buddy. And just because you may not be the biggest, you could still make money off the game. Anyways, that's enough of uh, uh, Joe here. The situation is... You can't argue that just because there's not a high likelihood of you succeeding and being making money at that thing is a reason not to do it. It's called entertainment. Games are entertainment. Martial arts may be entertainment mixed with, uh, I don't know, exercise. So you think that the potentiality isn't there. Well, I could go into a studio be uh, rolling or grappling with someone and tear a ligament. And that would cost me thousands upon thousands of dollars to fix. And I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that three-year plan. Now, if I'm playing some video games at home with my friends for entertainment purposes, and I'm not trying to make big bucks on it, but I'm just enjoying it, what's the problem with that? You enjoy rolling around and grabbing dudes' balls? I enjoy shooting some people in video games and you know hack and slashes and all these other things so joe i know you used to be addicted to video games but hey you might want to step back and not assume it's the same for everyone because there are people with self-control anyways guys thanks for hanging out i uh, appreciate you guys watching be sure to like comment and uh, share it does help out and i will see you guys again soon